MaxOlsonAthletic.com. In fact, we hear from MaxOlsonAthletic.com right now. Paul Catalina, Craig Smoke, I'm David Smoke. Max, I know that we spend most of the time when we have you on about college sports, college or college football and, and all that, but what was your take after all of what happened in Omaha, right there in your backyard, and the craziness of the last two or three days that led to Schlossnagel going to Austin? <laughs> Hey guys, appreciate it. you having me on. You know, um, I'll be honest with you. I was sitting front row mm. at the press conference Monday night when Jim Schlossnagel said what he decided to say. And honestly, I went over to, to um, Richard Zane after and test bumped him and I said, good job. Like, that's the job. You have to ask that question. And I'm glad that he did um, because it, <laughs> it was the last question of the press conference. And, and if nobody had asked it, then, uh, you know, that would have been wild. But, um, you know, I pretty – Pretty stunned to see it play out the way that it did. Um, you know, certainly the relationship between Chris Alcani and, and Schloss is, uh, you know, the, the key thing here. And, uh, you know, I think it was, I think it was very clear that, that, um, CDC was looking for a baseball coach for the past few weeks and waited till the end of the CWS. And, you know, it, it's, uh, just in terms of the rivalry, um, it, it's, uh, absolutely fascinating. And I, you know, I understand why AM fans are, so upset about it and, you know, extremely like suspicious of the timelines of all this stuff. I think that's pretty logical. And, uh, you know, I think that, um, the battle now for those two baseball programs, um, is going to be intense. I think the expectations on Texas, especially if they're picking up a lot of the best players from A&M is, is going to be, you know, uh, championship level expectations right away. And certainly for, for Trev Alberts, the new AD at Texas A&M, you got to go get a stud, uh, for a head coach and you got to get him back. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm very interested to see who takes that job because it it's obviously a great job. You saw by them playing for a College World Series uh, title on Monday night. Uh, but to see that all play out in 24 hours, uh, yeah, it was jaw-dropping. Max, I, I think I just wish through this whole thing that Jim Schlossnagel and, and Chris Del Conte would kind of say, yeah, yes, it's something as best friends we've talked about for a while now, but couldn't make it official until this. But I guess you can't really do that. It's it's just you're telling like, because the way they're saying it is like, so you're telling me that they didn't talk about it at all, even though they talk all the time. Then Jim Schlossnagel went to bed all sad on Monday night, woke up Tuesday morning and signed a deal, got it approved, and then uh, convinced four guys to go with him in 12 hours? Like, that's Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, I think the, the, 100%. Like, it just a lot of that stuff you just requires you to suspend disbelief. And, and, and mm-hmm. certainly, um, you know, I think if you're uh, a player in, in that program or a player's parent or you're a fan of that program, um, you know, I think it's pretty natural to say, when did this start and when was this a done deal? And – I mean, it's crazy, guys. Like, if, if they had won it all on Monday and they had a chance to win it all on Sunday, like, was he still going to do it? Probably so, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a great question, but I, I think everybody <laughs> wondered that, yeah. It would have just had to have waited until after the parade in College Station, right? Yep. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, it's, um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a, you know, if you're a Texas fan, you're like, man, that's a pretty badass move by Chris Del Conte to pull that off. Um, but, you know, I think certainly the the – the comments on Monday night, which I think we can all imagine 10 different ways you could have said that, that uh, would be a lot better than what he said. I think that, that also kind of creates a little bit of a, uh, you know, even more of a villain situation, I think, to A&M folks. And, uh, you know, I think that the, it's, it's you know, all you got to say in that situation is I don't want to talk about that tonight. Um, but, you know, certainly, uh, you know, he handled it the wrong way. And, uh, you know, I, I understand why there's a ton of scrutiny on every comment that he and Others made yesterday in their press conference. So yeah, it's a uh, you know it, it, it's also kind of an all timer in terms of just coaching changes. We never see this stuff. We never see you know the head coach of uh, of Auburn going to Alabama or things like that, right? So it's just you kind of expect there's going to be kind of unprecedented fallout from it too. Yeah, I was, I was saying uh, yesterday, I was like, this is going to make for a, a new chapter in the all-time college football folk tales, you know, like of just the craziest stories. This will definitely have its have its place. Um, Max, just being in Omaha, that's not something I've ever experienced. I don't think the guys here have mm. gone up there. And maybe it's recency bias. It just, or just the series was so good that that just seemed like a hell of a party up there. And uh, which, how would you describe the event? I mean, it's it's kind of, I guess you could say maybe borderline bucket list for me to check out. Um, but what would you say to people who haven't been up there to check out the College World Series of what that event's really like? 
Yeah, it, it's special. I think if the, the team you're pulling for uh, makes it, you know, it's, it's absolutely worth making the trip. And even if not, it's just, I agree. I think it's a bucket list thing. You know, I think it was more of a party back in the day when it was at Rosenblatt and you had a lot more tailgating and stuff like this. And, you know, now it's moved to downtown Omaha and in a nice ballpark, um, Charles Schwab Field. Um, but just such a, it's such a cool event in terms of the way it brings those eight different fan bases together. And, you know, it really does feel like you're watching the best of the best in college baseball. And I think that, um, that, that championship series, uh, between Tennessee and Texas A&M, just so many great players and all American players in that game. And, you know, it was really like nail biters in all three games, um, that, you know, were kind of one swing away from something different, um, going down. And, and it was, you know, uh, super impressed by Tennessee and by Tony Vitello's squad. Uh, but it was just a great tournament with a lot of uh, dramatic finishes. And, um, you know, I think that that sport is in a really, you know, it's going to be interesting going forward here with the settlement and kind of the way the money changes and all that. But, man, I feel like that sport is in a really healthy place with just so many great players, um, you know, playing at a, at a super high level. And certainly that conference, um, if you're Greg Sankey, you feel extremely good about what you got there um, with five straight national champions and just so many programs that um, are going to compete to be in Omaha every year. Max, uh, have you yet had the conversation or the negotiation with your wife about where you're going to set up the EA Sports College Football 25 game in your house? Uh, yeah, yeah. We got the Xbox down in the basement here because, you know, I'm in the med- Midwest and we've got basements that have room for big TVs. So uh, that, that's where that's going to be going down. And, I, you know, certainly – on the 16th and going forward, um, you know, if my three-year-old son needs to needs to reach me, that's that's where he can reach me. <laughs> Daddy's down in the basement, so yeah. yeah. And if he wants to pick up the six and play and then learn something, then that's you know even better, right? Hey. Um, but maybe he's got a knack I, for it, uh, and he's the next big star on Twitch or something. For all we know, could be, could be. Yeah, I'm, I'm fired up. I saw. What would you guys think seeing uh, Baylor in the new uniforms and McLean and then fire? You know the the f- pyro and all that stuff in, in the latest video. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I love that they tipped that Baylor was getting new uniforms. That's how yeah. everybody goes, wait a second, what are they wearing? And that led to, you know, eventually the reveal. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, I, I guess I saw some – Max, honestly, it's Baylor, so there's always a complaint of some sort. So it's like, where's the Baylor line at? Like, yeah. why is there not, oh, you know, fu- yeah. I know, I know. But, Don't. like, outside of that, I thought, yeah, I thought it looked really cool. I think it, it looks amazing. I think the list they're putting out are doing their job of getting people talking, uh, yeah. you know, over the accuracy or not. But, uh, yeah, I'm fired up for it. Did, did you guys hear that Colorado and USC have top 25 defenses? We did. Did you know that? that was, yeah. That, that was looked, an entire segment we had about an hour right. ago. Yeah. <laughs> their, their fans must be <laughs> thrilled that everything's fixed now uh so yeah i I was amazing how much content people milked out of just the toughest stadiums to play this week i mean what Mm. a content machine this video just the lead up to this video game has been max i do have to ask you this uh and i've been thinking about it all week since then the only one i had an like an issue at all with and i know that it gets loud there and i know that they they you know the, the party's pretty good but williams bryce i've never been there but like and I get, but it, it's not really been that big of a home field advantage for South Carolina. I mean, they lose there all the time. Yeah, it's um, it, it, it was interesting. I thought, especially with our experience in terms of the, the conference we travel around, like to me, the the Big Twelve one that gets left out, I think probably Boone Pickens. Just, yeah. I mean, that that place mm-hmm. is with the tight sideline, with the paddles on the wall. Um, obviously, their home record's really good. Um, you know, I thought that was one that that was tough omission. Um, I'm guessing you guys were pretty surprised by A&M at, at one. And I was too. I mean, I think that I've seen some really epic night games there. I was at the, the Nebraska game in 2010, mm-hmm. Clemson game in 18. Obviously the Alabama upset in 21 was unbelievable. Um, so I get, I mean, I can't say that they don't belong in the conversation, but I also haven't personally been to an LSU game. I just trust everyone who tells me it's LSU number one without a doubt. Same. Yep. Yeah. That's 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 one of those I, that everybody – we probably all need to get to that at some yeah. point because it's it, – yeah, reputation alone. I've been to 100 A&M games, and it's fantastic. It's great. But, you know, uh, LSU. Like, come on. And, and, and like, look, I've been uh, – as much as I hate to say this, it's just as loud at Ben Hill Griffin, you know. So, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it, it, there's it, – it's maybe – has the most unique, I guess A&M has the most unique set of circumstances with all the different things that they do compared to everybody else. But I think that's maybe in the eye of the beholder, maybe more than just general college football fans. Yeah, for sure. You mean 
that only the A and M fans seem like there's uniqueness about what they do. Well, I mean, like because it's different. They have so many things, though. Oh, like I it's, know. You know, yeah. you can go to most schools and they have like one or two things. A and M has fifteen. No, they do. They have you a know, lot so of, it's a lot a of lot. rituals, yeah. or I guess you could traditions or or, or whatever they do. Uh, Max, Loki, does it hurt your heart to not see Memorial Stadium on that list? Yeah, I mean, if you had atmosphere, even with the losing, the atmosphere would have to rank among the top, I would think, maybe 10 or 20. Yeah. Uh, but as far as the home field advantage, no. It, 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 it doesn't surprise Not me. Not lately. No, no. Mm-mm. no that, sure. I think the last time they won a big game, and I don't even remember, this is uh, when it may have been the year Ohio State went through a bunch of quarterbacks, but when they had a game at home against Ohio State, and the kid from Plano, Rex Burkett, had a big game, and I forget, but they, they won that game at home, and that's like one of the last ones I remember where they actually beat somebody much better than they were. They were still good, but that was one of the biggest wins they've had, and that might have been 10 years ago. Agree, yeah. That was back when I was in college. I think that may have, been, may have even been the Luke Fickle year at Ohio State, so probably they weren't even that great. But it was, yeah, that, that, that was a pretty special night game. Um, they've had some upsets since then, but, uh, yeah. yeah, I agree. It, it's not – not quite been the intimidation factor over the past decade. It's a great atmosphere, though. It, it is a great atmosphere. Max, go did ahead. Did you have any that just jumped out to you? Places? I mean, you've been to more places than I think all of us have probably been combined, but um, was was there anything that you felt was a snub or, or too much outside of the ones that we mentioned? Like, a, you know, Kyle Field's great, but it's not number one. Um, yeah. You know, that kind of deal. You know, um, I, I got to go to Virginia Tech a couple times in my career. I'd say that one is, like, I'd say it's up there. I know they they were pretty high on that list, and um, it's just in terms of the, the volume. Um, I, I know they get a lot of hype on the, uh, you know, the, the pregame stuff, entertainment and all that stuff, but um, that, that, that place can get rocking for sure. I know they've been uh, another program that's been down lately. Um, you know, another one that got left off that's pretty good is Washington. Uh, Washington, you know, and obviously they had some, some huge home games last year, but uh, another place that uh, you can feel the press box shake a bit and stuff like that. I think that, uh, you know, Washington probably got snubbed there, but uh yeah, it's uh, it, it's fun. Get, get you know, let's get people talking, and uh, you know, there's a ton of uh, ton of SEC ones I, I haven't been to, so hopefully I can you know cross those off the list one day. All right, so we have media days not far away, and Las Vegas, and then the next week there's the SEC, and of course there's four of the autonomy conferences now among others. What is your schedule? Have you lined that up yet? Uh, for media days. Yeah, as far are you? We'll be you'll be in Vegas. We know that because that's, uh, that's. I will not be in Vegas this year. What? I'm sorry. I will not be in Vegas this year. No media days for me this year. I mean, wh- why do we even go now? Can you can you guys please like order some doubles just to like pour one out for me out there? Sure. Yes. If you, I mean, can... the doubles will be like twenty two dollars, but still, like it would just be a nice gesture. Yeah, it, yeah, it, I got you. I got you. Are you not you. allowed to be there? I mean, is this you're not credentialed, or you just this, they they made decisions on who's going or not? No, yeah, we we got other other folks going to it. I'm sure you can uh, catch yeah. some of our, our gang from the athletic there. But uh, you know, honestly, uh, we got the game coming out. So I mean, that's uh, that's going to take up a good, good the back half of my July for sure. Okay, all right, you're, you're right. A lot of content around that. That's exactly right. That's that's exactly right, Max. We appreciate it. Enjoy. Uh, whatever you have left of the summer. We'll see you soon and talk to you soon, too. Thank you. Thank you. At uh, Max Olston, theathletic.com, with us on 365 Sports. Did he, he's, gonna, he's not going to Paris.